Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I'm the Halo Chick and we are going to go into this next room and continue through Grout's Mansion. So the way that you do this is by hitting these three switches and that opens up this fireplace and then we can go here and sneak kill these two. See, and you see how easily these, like, easy these guys are, and how easy it is to sneak up on them. I mean, I killed that guy right in front of them, and he's just standing there. They're, they're, they're literally crazy. Okay. okay. Let's go up these stairs. Whoa. That stair looks really weird. Weird lighting on that stair for some reason. Okay. Okay, now we're at the top floor of that library. Now that, that, um, ladder that I accidentally went up, um, that it was locked at the top, this unlocks it, so now we can go up and down through there without having to go through all those passageways we just went through. Um, here are three more switches, and here is another switch puzzle. So, um, let's listen to this, uh, tape from, uh, uh, from Grout first before we try and figure out the, uh, the solution to the puzzle. I have accepted the role of Primogen for Clan Malkavian, the dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer. So named for some supposed vampire father figure of old. More poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably drawn to children's tales and the fiction of Victorian romance when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter, for I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, oh, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand-tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempters. Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. <laughs> so basically, he's now lamenting at the fact that um, all of the beliefs in, like, you know, the Book of Node and, and you know, Gehenna and all this stuff he finds to be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and he's kind of uh, lamenting uh, over all that stuff that they seem to be so superstitious and he finds it to be rather a waste of time so let's try and figure out this puzzle chaos like the mind can be understood only through the scientific process order however is only as good as the perception thereof time is the key that links the two bears uh two and bears their ebb and flow so let's see what we have here we have um chaos we have key and we have uh ba balance i guess i don't know i don't know i'm gonna bang on stuff until something happens okay obviously that's not gonna work there we go <laughs> like I said, I just bang on the on the on the levers until it unlocks something. Pretty easy to do. I mean, uh, you know, I think that the point is to get all three of them lit up at the same time. It's just that there's, you know, there's different patterns to what each lever does, and you have to kind of use that to figure it out. So, whatever. Uh, let's drop down here, and now this is opened. Oh, this room. Okay, now this room, um, you have to be careful with. You can see that flashing lights. There is some lightning in this next room, and it will hurt you. 
Or as H.C. Bailey says, it will kill you. <laughs> so um, basically you want to get in between all of these. So you would want to um, kind of you know, dip down under here and you see these switches. We want to throw all the switches that we can find. And as you can see, as we flip switches, it starts to shut off. See, and there we go, we shut it all off. So now we can go through this way, and there's this lever here, which unlocks that door. That's the room with the big staircase um, near the beginning of the mansion, so that's just unlocked. We got experience for unlocking that. And apparently that was Grout's inner sanctum. Um, okay, so see, now we're back here towards the beginning, so we can go back into that room with the... Uh, wrong way. There we go, this way. And now that we're in Grout's inner sanctum, this is when shit really starts going nuts. Um, I really don't want it to get messed up because it just, um, you know, you just saw the, uh, it skip. So I think I'll end the video here. Um, and when we come back, we should be able to finish up Grout's mansion, uh, in the next video. Uh, so hopefully we can do that. But until then, this is the Halo Chick signing off saying, I need a nap. <laughs> See you guys later.